Hey what's going on everybody welcome to Coral Reef Keepers my name is Chris and in today's video I'm going to be talking about something that's going on with my 60 gallon aquarium that is absolutely driving me crazy so let's get to the story. So something's been going on recently uh, with my 60 gallon tank that has just been driving me crazy and it's one thing that will drive any reefer crazy and that is dino fledglets. So I noticed this dino outbreak in my tank about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, everything was just starting to kind of get a brown tinge to it and once I saw that brown I kind of knew what was going on and um, lately it's just been getting worse. I've got dinos covering all my rocks, it's covering any hair algae that was in the tank. Um, it is basically just starting to cover everything. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I just got done battling dinoflagellates in my 20 gallon nano upstairs. Uh, it was about a two week battle to try to eliminate uh, the, the problem and I just got rid of it and now all of a sudden it's popped up in my 60 gallon. He just battled dinos in one tank and now I've got dinos in the other tank. Now if you have no idea what dinoflagellates are and are new to the reefing community or new to the reefing hobby, have never experienced dinoflagellates, I'll kind of get into a brief explanation. Uh, dinoflagellates are like the worst type of nuisance algae. Um, I don't even know if they are an algae, but anyway, they're like the worst thing you can get for your tank. You know, other algae uh, that you can battle, hair algae, uh, cyanobacteria, a lot of stuff is pretty easy to get rid of, but dinoflagellates is the worst thing to try to get rid of in your tank. So what are dinoflagellates and what do they look like? Um, and basically everybody will tell you that it basically looks like brown snot with air bubbles attached to them all throughout your aquarium. Uh, this stuff gets on everything. It attaches to rocks, it attaches to algae, it attaches to corals, and it just takes everything over. Dinoflagellates usually pop up due to low nutrients. Um, this tank behind me, I have been running low nutrients for quite some time. Um, you know, nitrates down to one to two ppm and phosphates undetectable, and I think that's the reason why my tank took off uh, with dinos. Eventually, they just kind of took over and that's usually what happens when you get them in your tank. Dinos seem to thrive off of low nutrient systems. So there are lots of ways to go about battling dinos. And my experience has always been to start raising nutrients, uh, get nitrates and phosphates up, and let other algae grow to help compete with the dinoflagellates. So what am I going to do to battle these things? Uh, first things first is I'm going to do the same thing I did on my 20 gallon. Stop doing water changes. The consensus is that water changes add nutrients to the tank that the dinos will feed off of. So a lot of people will tell you to stop doing water changes, which I did in the 20 gallon, uh, and that seemed to, to help back everything off. So I'm gonna stop doing water changes. Uh, I pulled out any, any macroalgae that was in my refugium, uh, because dinos tend to attach to macroalgae and almost attack it. Um, I've actually got hair algae in the tank right now, um, and that hair algae actually looks brown because it is just absolutely covered in dinoflagellates. If you check out up here, you'll see this picture. That is a microscope picture that I took of a sample of hair algae that I pulled out of the tank. And you can actually see the hair algae in the middle and all the dinoflagellates around it. They actually almost encase the algae and surround it and prevent that algae from absorbing any nutrients. So basically you have to try to drive up your nutrients so that the algae can feed and grow faster and outcompete the dinoflagellates. Um, dinoflagellates do starve pretty quick so hopefully within a couple of weeks I can eliminate this problem from my tank. I'm going to try to battle it as best I can um, and if it gets just to the point where everything's out of control I think it might be time to think about uh, tearing down the tank and maybe starting over. I mean that's worst case scenario that's absolute nuclear if I can't get it under control. Um, but I do want to upgrade to a bigger tank and I've been eyeballing buying a 120 and moving everything from the 60 to a 120 anyway. So if you have brown stuff in your tank and you're thinking it's dinoflagellates, the best thing you can do is go on Amazon or something and buy yourself a little video microscope like this. Um, you plug USB right into your computer or phone or tablet and you can pull out a sample of the algae and put it on a surface and take a picture of it with this. And if you take a look here is my picture of dinoflagellates up close and personal, the ones that are taking over my tank currently as we speak. So I'm kind of at my wits end with the tank. It's it's driving me crazy. I think about it all the time, just racking my brain constantly of what I can do uh, to fight these dinos. 
So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to stop doing water changes. I'm going to try to drive nutrients. I'm going to feed heavy. Uh, I'm going to siphon out as much as I can, uh, probably on a daily basis. Um, with the 20 gallon nano, I did the same thing. I created a siphon and took that siphon into the sump into a filter sock. So anything I pulled out got caught in the filter sock and was removed from the aquarium. Um, the worst thing you want to do, which you can be very tempted to do, is start blowing the stuff around with like a turkey baser or something like that. Uh, you get in there and you can blow it off the rocks real, e real easily, but all that's going to do is just get it floating around your aquarium and it's just going to attach itself to everything else. So you'll go through, you'll blow everything off, and within 10 minutes you'll just see snotty strings hanging off of everything. Um, this stuff will attach to your power heads, it'll attach to your rocks, your substrate, your corals, and it is just absolutely a nightmare. Dinoflagellates is a nightmare, period. I absolutely hate these things. And the fact that I just got done battling it in one tank, and now I have to battle it again in another tank, I just want to uh, freak out. So it's time to drive up the nutrients, dirty up the tank, see if I can get some algae to grow and outcompete the dinos. Because um, I'm not really worried about hair algae. My fox face and my tang will just demolish that stuff. But they're not touching it right now because it's covered in dinoflagellates and they don't want to eat it because it's nasty and can be toxic. Um, and that's one thing you got to be concerned with too with blowing it around your aquarium is it is toxic. Um, it can release new, um, you know, nasty stuff in your aquarium and harm your fish, harm your corals, harm your, harm your invertebrates in the tank. So uh, try to avoid stirring it up as much as possible and just try to siphon it straight out. So anyway, that's what's going on with my 60 gallon tank. That's just got me at my wits end. Like I said, about ready to just kind of give up, but you can't. You got to just keep on trucking and do what you can to fight the battle as best you can. As I go through with this, I'll be posting updates and stuff like that and kind of let you know what's working and what isn't working. I kind of know what works from battling with the 20 gallon upstairs. Uh, like I said, I think I'm just going to dirty the tank as best I can, uh, raise nitrates, raise phosphates, and hopefully stuff will start outcompeting the dinos and they will just disappear. But anyway, thanks for watching. appreciate it. So if you want to keep up with my fight with dinoflagellates, uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell notification so you get any updates uh, as soon as I put them out. Uh, you can also, like I said, check me out on Instagram, and I'm usually posting more pictures uh, more frequently in what's going on with my tanks. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.